went longer than I anticipated, let me take a few questions. What do I do if my wife wants sex more than I do and I feel like less of a man? Um, this is a guy asking this question. Um, ladies, you need to know that you're very, very powerful. Your husband is far more frail and fragile than you would guess or imagine. And much of his strength comes from you being connected to him. I've told Gracie this. I said, I can handle almost anything if you're with me. If you're not, I can't handle much of anything. She compliments me, she helps me, and I sustain much of my strength from her being my helper. For men, when they pursue their wives and their wives reject them, as he says, it makes them feel like less of a man. This ultimately can lead to a guy being so discouraged that he just stops pursuing because it's embarrassing to continually be rejected. And the same is true for a woman. Any woman who pursues her husband and he rejects her, it's embarrassing, it's shameful. It's like, man, you turned me down. You want to Bible study with your spouse, 1 Corinthians 7, which says what? Do not deprive one another except for perhaps a limited time so that you can devote yourself to prayer and then come together again so that Satan doesn't tempt you to sin. Okay? Now, what that means is if your marriage is one of servant lovers, there will be times that he serves her there will be times that she serves him. What I would ask you though, gentlemen, to ask your wife is this. Is there anything in my conduct or character that is causing you to not be attracted to me? She may say, you're harsh with me, you're negligent of the kids, you don't lead our family spiritually, the problems are outside of the bedroom. And because I don't feel close outside of the bedroom, I don't feel motivated in the bedroom. So first ask, is there anything I need to repent of, any area I need to grow in? But that 1 Corinthians 7 does indicate that couples are to serve one another. Now this leads to the next question that is related. How often should a married couple have sex? This one comes up. And this is a related question. She says, this is what I want. He says, this is what I want. Well, the key to being a servant lover, not a selfish lover is, I serve you. You serve me, so we're both satisfied. The average married couple has sex two to three times a week. The average married husband masturbates three to four times a week. Your husband never told you that. The average man has sex with himself more than his wife. Married. Married. When I talk about shame and guilt and secrecy and privacy, things you need to talk about that you don't talk about, this is probably one of them. In fact, this is certainly one of them. What can happen then is, if you're not having sex enough, you start taking care of yourself, and then after time you get bored, then you start looking at pornography, and then you get bored with that, and then you start looking at other people. Because sin leads to death. It never leads to righteousness. And you start down a path that is very ugly and grotesque and deadly. So I'd say for all of these reasons, it's good to have a hard, long talk saying, what's normal for you? What's normal for me? What would you need? What would I need? Is there anything in my character that's not allowing us to be together that often? And what you'll find too is if you're a servant lover, the truth is this, there will be times you don't feel like it, but you choose to serve your spouse because you love them. And in the middle of it, your mood changes. How many of you have said, I'm not in the mood? And 20 minutes later, you're like, I'm in the mood. (laughs) I believe God honors obedience. God honors obedience. And so for this husband, and this probably is a question asked by a lot of husbands, there is no normal abnormal. No frequency is normal or abnormal. The Bible doesn't prescribe a frequency. If you're somebody who has to have sex two times every day, you've been abused, there's sexual addiction, there's something wrong. If you're somebody who wants to be together once a day or every other day, you're probably at the high end of normal. Uh, If you're down to once a week, you're at the low end of normal, depending upon your age. Um, But you need to know, ladies, for the husbands, 
particularly if the love language is touch. Sex is a way of connecting and feeling close and being free with one another. It accomplishes things like comfort and protection, those other purposes. Um, it's good to have that conversation, but I would tell the man is lovingly, graciously, respectfully say, I don't feel like we're together enough. Is there anything I'm doing that's preventing us being together more? And then ask, could you please serve me? And could we make an effort to be more frequently with one another? Because I feel hurt or rejected or bitter or tempted. And I don't want to go down that road. I want to pursue you and I, I want to love you and I want to be close to you. And I don't want Satan to get a foothold. 